welcome back to my channel you guys today I am super excited because we're gonna be reviewing some Rum Beauty products and I've been dying to review some of their stuff just because I love Ariana Grande you guys I'm a huge fan and I've always missed the launch or just never knew what to purchase so I just kind of let that pass but I finally figured you know what let's just try something out let's just figure it out. And so basically, I picked up the Rum Beauty on your color like lipsticks. They came with nine different shades. I picked up four. They're the only four that really grabbed my attention from this launch that I feel like are the perfect everyday type of lip shades. They went for $19. Obviously, it's not drugstore pricing, but I feel like $19 is a pretty good price point. I'd rather pay $19 than $28 or $26. And basically, it's supposed to be a super pigmented matte finish, long wearing, transfer proof, fade proof, vegan. It's supposed to be really comfortable and hydrating on the lips at the same time. And so basically we're gonna test them out. We're gonna see what are the undertones like, what are the pigmentation like, what is the matte finish like, and is this actually transfer hoof? Is it actually worth picking up? So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Everything I talk about will be listed down below in the description box in order. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this one, and let's jump on in and try them on. Starting off on our first lip shade, it is called Leave a Message, described on their website as a warm peach nude lip shade, and I couldn't agree more. It's really, really pretty. It has like a neutral undertone, so I feel like this will complement many different skin complexions. It's also a perfect everyday type of lip shade and I would pair a lip liner shade with this lip color like a taupey, nude, kind of maybe like a chocolate brown depending on your personal preference. And as for the creamy consistency, it's definitely really lightweight. The formula is almost like liquidy and runny so just be really careful because I did notice that the liquid lipstick was coming out of the packaging because it was like tilted to the side and I didn't expect that but girl it happened okay so just be warned but overall the consistency is really nice it definitely has a nice matte finish and it feels really lightweight it doesn't dry down too quickly so I feel like it's gonna feel really comfortable on the lips as for the packaging I really like it it reminds me of a bullet very true to Ariana Grande and I love how it stands out it's just very different very modern and clean as for the Dofa applicator it has a really nice Dofa applicator it has kind of like an oval round shape to it that I feel like is really nice that you'll be able to use it to line your lips if you need to and apply an even amount throughout your lips. I also really like how spongy it is and as for a scent, it has like a nice vanilla scent to it. It's not too strong and overpowering but you can definitely pick it up if you get really close to the Dofa applicator which I really really love. I have removed the lip combo that I had on. Let's go ahead and jump on in and try on leave a message. I'm gonna go ahead and start in the center of my lips and look at that you guys so pigmented love the undertone I already know I'm gonna end up really loving it leave a message it's so pretty I love the undertone to it I definitely went in and layered it on one more layer just to really make it stand out a little bit more and I absolutely love it you literally can apply a tiny amount and it will apply on really nicely really sheer but really pretty all at the same time like you'll see like you'll have something on it feels really nice and lightweight nice and powdery and soft and so far I don't feel like it feels drying on the lips. Does it enhance the fine lines? I do find it to be a little enhancing of the fine lines, but I love the undertone and so far I really love the Dofa applicator. I definitely found it really helpful to apply on the liquid lipstick and I also used it lightly to line my lips as well, but I love the undertone. Perfect everyday type of lip shade. I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion and I feel like you know, I'm really excited to continue testing this out. But actually, really quickly, let's do a quick transfer test. Let's just see if anything transfers over. So as you can see, I don't have anything on the back of my hand. And literally nothing transferred over. Let me quickly show you because obviously it is swatch on the back of my hand of this lip shade. So let's see with a makeup removing wipe how difficult it will be to remove this lip shade. And it wasn't that difficult, but let me tell you, I feel like removing it from my lips is gonna be a struggle for sure. So let's move on to lip shade number two. It is called Wifey, described on their website as a rose tan nude lip shade. It is so pretty, guys. I'm really excited to apply this on. Again, I feel like it's the perfect everyday type of lip shade. And I just love how super pigmented these matte liquid lipsticks are. They're really pigmented, really lightweight, and it definitely takes a little moment for it to dry down. But I feel like, again, it's gonna complement so many different skin complexions and I just love that a little bit of product goes such literally such a long way so I'm gonna go ahead and jump on in and apply on this lip color starting in the center of my lips and look you guys super pigmented let me press my lips together 
and it transfers over really nicely. I'm going to finish applying this on. Wifey is so pretty and actually is described on their website as a tan rose. I'm not really sure like the description that I gave you guys earlier. So I just want to correct myself in case I'm wrong. But this is basically, you guys, and I love this lip shade. It is just so pretty. Again, it's a perfect nude. I love the undertone to it. I feel like you can never go wrong with like a nude lip color like this one. It goes with anything that you apply on. Be on the go. I love the fact that it's transfer proof, you guys. I feel like this is perfect like if you have a long day ahead of you or you just don't want to fuss you're going to go to an event and you just want to make sure that your lip color stays in place i feel like this is perfect especially because it only takes you know a little bit of product for it to be super pigmented and it dries down really nicely and doesn't feel over dry it feels nice and powdery and soft and i personally really like the undertone to this lip shade so so far i'm really impressed is it my most favorite matte liquid lipstick no i actually kind of prefer the huda beauty matte liquid lipsticks but this is still really nice and i do really like the undertone so for that alone, I can definitely see myself wearing this lip shade again. So let's move on to lip shade number three. It is called Hottie. It's described on the website as a brown nude lip shade. And it's definitely giving me like fall, winter vibes. I feel like this is a perfect like date night look. I just love how pigmented it is. It looks so, so pretty. And I'm really excited to see how it looks on my skin complexion. Just because I find it to be a little pigmented. But at the same time, it's kind of light. So obviously it just depends on how much product I apply on. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump on in and apply on a hottie. I'm going to go ahead and start in the center of my lips. And honestly, you guys, I feel like it almost looks like my natural lip color. <laughs> so that is the only thing. But I love how pigmented it is and I love the undertone that it has. Let me go ahead and press my lips together. And it transfers over really nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and finish applying this on. Hottie definitely looks way more pigmented. I don't know why I thought it looked like my natural lip color because I feel like it totally dried down and it looks totally different. <laughs> But it's really, really nice. I absolutely love it. I can definitely see myself wearing a lip shade like this one and definitely during the fall winter time. I feel like I gravitate towards more darker, warmer tone lip shades like this one during the fall winter season. So I'm really excited to keep this in my collection and play around with it once we get to the fall winter season. But I absolutely love it. It's really, really pretty. I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion. I'd honestly wear this alone or pair it with a more chocolate brown lip liner just to kind of give that little ombre effect. But I absolutely love the formula again, you guys. It doesn't dry down too quickly. I keep repeating myself because it's honestly the truth. It doesn't dry down quickly. It feels nice and powdery and soft, comfortable on my lips. But again, I'm still going to point that out that I do feel like it kind of hands the fine lines to my lips. But again, can add a little gloss. You know what I mean? A little a little something something. So that's the only thing. So let's move on to lip shade number four. The last and final lip shade we're going to go ahead and try on. It is called Yum. <laughs> that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Yum. <laughs> and it basically is described on their website as a chestnut rose lip shade. And let me tell you guys, it definitely has more of like a plum undertone to it. I'm not a huge fan of lip shades like this one but it definitely gave me fall winter vibes a perfect a bold lip shade if you like something a little bit more pigmented than your everyday type of nude lip shade and I actually really am excited to see how it looks on maybe I'll end up really liking it who knows sometimes I always try to pick like a wild card lip shade just because I don't want it to be too predictable I kind of want to go out of my comfort zone every now and then and just see who knows? Maybe I'll end up really liking it. Maybe it will change my mind. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and jump on in and apply on this lip shade. I'm going to start in the center of my lips. And look at that, you guys. Super pigmented. I'm going to go ahead and press my lips together. And there it goes. It transfers over really nicely. I'm going to go ahead and finish applying this on. Yum. Oh my god. It's so pretty. I actually surprisingly really like this lip shade. It is so pigmented. It dries down really nicely, but I like the, kind of like, like the vampy look that it's giving me right now. I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion, and I just really love the finish of it. It definitely feels really nice and powdery and soft. Really lightweight. This is super pigmented, you guys. So even though the packaging is small, this will last you such a long time. Like you're going to get a lot out of this. I do love the little doe applicator. I keep talking about it because it is just really, really nice. So if you don't have a lot of lip liners or you're worried that you won't have a matching lip liner with it, you will not have to worry because this little applicator will go such a long way for you. I did find it to be a little tricky on the outer edges at times, but overall, if you move really quickly, you can kind of clean them out. So <laughs> that is the only thing. But I do love the scent to it. I love that it's really easy to apply on. I'm not a huge fan that it doesn't have like a flat bottom to this packaging, just because if you need to put this down for whatever reason to kind of clean things out, to get a little close to the mirror, whatever, 
you can't you literally have to hold on to it so it's kind of inconvenient and obviously the little hole to the packaging in the center where the product comes out is a little big so you also have to be really careful because if you put it to the side product's going to be flying out it's already happened to me twice and you do not want that to happen especially if it falls like on your clothes or on your jeans like i don't even want to think about that but overall i do love the finish of it love the undertones i'm actually surprised that i ended up really liking all four shades it's kind of rare that ever happens i usually find one or two lip shades that i'll end up really really liking but overall I like them all, girl, so I'm really, really happy. I'll continue testing these out, so stay tuned for one of my monthly fave and feels. I'll keep you guys posted how it all works out. If I actually end up really liking it, I'll wear it throughout the day for the few next few weeks at work and just see, you know, what it's all about. But comment down below. Let me know out of all four lip shades, which one was your favorite? Did you have a favorite? Have you tried these out? If you have any video suggestions, girl, let a girl know I'm always looking for video ideas. But this is basically it. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched this video this far, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so, so much.